Let's draw some Ben 10 aliens in space. Ben 10 vs. the Universe is finally coming out, right? It seems like for this adventure, Jet Ray, Humongosaur, Heat Blast, and Shock Rock have all got their own spacesuits this time around. That made me want to sit down and design what I thought other aliens would actually look like in their own Omni Not suit. Without further ado, let's get on to the first alien. This first one I actually did on live stream with you guys. As you can see, my little face in the corner, it's just super weird. <laughs> This was a really fun stream and you guys actually helped me come up with some of the creative decisions that changed the vibe of this whole look. Okay, Xander, so what are these Omni-Nut suits anyway? I can hear you saying it now. Ben gets these Omni-Nut suits whenever Phil Billings actually gives him a key to the Omnitrix that allows the Omnitrix to give the aliens their own spacesuit and enhance their abilities and all that kind of cool stuff. The biggest thing I struggled with with this drawing initially was the pose. I wasn't sure if I wanted him to be standing there heroically, like he's just forearms. That's kind of what you're used to seeing in the show, these great broad poses where he's got all four arms out. I was trying to go for something like that. And then I ended up really not liking A, the position of the arms and B, the way he was standing. It didn't look right. I wasn't really sure how to draw the legs just standing there. So it felt kind of weird. And I know in hum the humongous or reference, he's kind of squatting. It just didn't feel right. And I wanted to do some kind of action pose. So I figured having him jumping, leaping through the air, almost doing an elbow dive would be the coolest way to kind of bring this forearms omni -Not suit to life. Initially, I wasn't super excited about the looks of these suits. I wasn't really a fan of the mask or the helmet aspect of it. it was just the Omnitrix uh, symbol or the badge. From a design standpoint, I was really curious about the idea that you would have two Omnitrix badges on the character design. And previously, I feel like you only see one. And I know that there have been situations where you do have two, but having one that's glowing and then one that's on the face mask, I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of the concept, but the more I started doing these Omni-Not suits, it ended up feeling kind of cool slash appropriate for the Omni-Not design. I thought that initially the, the stripes on the arms were kind of whatever, kind of weird, but then I realized it, it is kind of like a heftier astronaut vibe that they're going for. And I ultimately ended up kind of being here for it. I didn't give forearms any spikes because that just didn't really make sense. I mean, I guess I really could have added some if I wanted to, but I felt like having his forearm brawn would have been the biggest part of his ability skill set. Initially, I wanted to go with the color orange for his design, much like the Humongousaur one, but you, the, the chat convinced me that I should go with the red because it just feels right for forearms. In retrospect, I'm really glad that I did. So yeah, that's forearms in his omni -Not suit. <laughs> Another one of the aliens that you guys really wanted me to draw was Cannonbolt. Initially, I wasn't really like a huge fan of his character design. He just kind of got like a massive mouth in the middle and a couple of, and you know, obviously two eyes. But um, I figured that this would be a really interesting challenge to try and figure out how an artist might put one of these suits on Cannonbolt as he's someone that ends up running, rolling into a ball, how would that kind of work? And so I kind of stuck very true initially to uh, the template laid forth by the Humongousaur design. But the sooner I got into it, I started adding these little tubes on the side of it to kind of connect not only the, fr the front piece, but also the spikes and padding on the back of the design, which I thought was a really cool, fun, interesting touch. And here, actually, I finally got to incorporate those spikes in this design because I figured it would be cool if he was like a spike ball that would just kind of bounce around and just like, I don't know, be really dangerous, I guess, in combat. Again, for the pose, I just really went with a kind of a generic jumping pose, but I think ultimately it lent itself to a kind of really cool floating in space kind of vibe. Overall, I think this cannonball looks super threatening. I think he's got spikes all over, he's got the claws. Also, the perspective of him kind of reaching towards the camera was something I thought was neat. I think one of the biggest challenges when doing these omni -Not designs was kind of figuring out what the color balance is gonna be. Any good design has balance of the colors all over the character. And I found that to be a significant challenge because it was pretty straightforward with forearms. It was pretty similar to the Humongousaur drawing, but I figured instead of going with yellow for this one, I thought that that looked too weird. He looked like a huge, I don't know, he didn't look right. So I figured I would go with the orange for this one. I know that there were a few other aliens in the show that were getting this orange design. So I thought it would be appropriate just to go with orange for this. If you're curious what I'm using to draw all this stuff, I use the Wacom Cintiq. I highly recommend it. This is not sponsored. 
Oh, and before you forget, subscribe so you don't miss another video and join the Discord. Actually, I've been talking to a lot of you guys in there. You'll be right in and knowing what's going on with the YouTube channel and help me come up with video ideas and stuff when I ask you guys what you think about certain things. So make sure you go check that out. But you'll have to let me know down in the comments below if you agree with my decision to leave him orange. Should, should I have gone with the yellow? I don't know. You can see I've tried it a couple times. I wasn't a huge fan, but if I was to go back, I might try something different in terms of the colors. <laughs> For the third design, I decided to go with Accelerate. It sucks because when I was drawing this initially, I kind of had it all planned out in my head and I started drawing, I had the rough draft done, I was almost done with the line work and then Photoshop crashed. And I know you can go back and find those files usually, but with the weather and everything, it crashed and my computer crashed. It was just a huge issue. So. I ended up uh, just having to draw this one from scratch. And fortunately it was a pretty generic accelerate pose in terms of, you know, just showing him running. Um, but the biggest challenge was figuring out how to make this running pose work with all the bulky astronaut uh, aspects to this design that there were introduced. Again, fairly standard for the Omni Omni-Not look, but I did add a spike to the back of his uh, suit and armor. I thought that was cool. Uh, I think the biggest exercise in this for me was taking a standard look or design and then applying it to multiple characters and seeing how it would change their silhouettes and seeing how it would change the look or the appearance and seeing how distinguishable the alien would be in that costume. Something I noticed when looking at reference and stuff like that, the Omni Kicks armor took a lot more liberties with the designs and I might have to do something similar in the future where I design my own variants on these aliens. That might be kind of a cool exercise to do. This was fairly straightforward, but I thought it was still worth doing in terms of what if these aliens do show up in the movie? Am I, am I, how far am I off from uh, what they end up coming up with? I did try actually putting blue on this, on this alien. I figured if any of them were gonna be a different color, besides four arms, it would be Accelerate because he's got the iconic speedy blue look, but it just didn't really work for me. I went with the orange and added some uh, green, um, you know, speed boost looking things on his arms. Uh, I have no idea ultimately how these kind of bulky things would contribute to his overall speed, but maybe his tail is super aerodynamic and maybe he can still traverse space really well. So that's Accelerate. <laughs> So I also wanted to do an alien besides just what we've seen already in the Ben 10 reboot series. We've already seen the original aliens, not all of them, of course, but their own different versions. And I thought it'd be interesting since we have Jet Ray as featured in the reboot and the trailer, it might be interesting to see what next alien from the uh, Alien Force series that we would see brought into this, this movie and this continuity. So I thought I did like a little poll in my Discord asking kind of what people thought I should do. People were saying Spider Monkey uh, and, and Swamp Fire. So I kind of left it up to them and they voted Swamp Fire. So I just whipped it up really quick. You can tell I had a really hard time with the pose, figuring out if he should be standing or jumping. A lot of this was figuring it out as I went. And that's kind of part of the exciting part of these kinds of videos is just trying to figure out as I'm going, what's gonna be the coolest way to display the design. I gave him spikes on his uh, arm pieces and the kind of a fin and stuff on his helmet so you could really tell it was Swamp Fire. Something I didn't like about the heat blast design is it's really hard to tell who it is. In my reaction to the trailer, I, I remember in the live stream, I was like, who is this? Who is this? I can't even tell. I, I couldn't tell who it was. If it was Slapback or something, I, I couldn't even tell. Um, except for the, uh, the, the blaster or the cannon on his arm. So I decided what would be a cool uh, weapon for, you know, Swamp Fire to have. Well, uh, initially I wanted to go with these like, uh, you know, burning hand things. I wanted him to be able to like burn stuff with his hands. Uh, so I ended up kind of meeting in the middle and kind of making a more straightforward design, giving him kind of like Iron Man blasters. But ultimately I thought maybe he would be cool if he could just heat stuff up really a lot with it or kind of shoot lasers out of it. I don't know. What do you think he would be able to do with those? I decided instead of going with a green um, or red color scheme for this, I decided to stick with the orange again because it's all about kind of making that unified approach to 
what would this be like if they introduced Swamp Fire in the movie? Would they stick with the orange? Orange has been a pretty popular theme with these so far. So I don't know, except for forearms, because everyone in the chat was like, you got to make them red. You got to make them red. So I did this one. I definitely felt deserved the orange and felt like it worked really well with the overall balanced color scheme. So you'll have to let me know in the comments what other aliens you hope that they bring in from Alien Force, because I'm also excited to see who else they bring into the fray here. I'm, I'm excited about that. But let me know how you think I did on Swamp Fire. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Join the Discord so you know what's going on with the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you. This is Xander. It's hero time, dweebs. <laughs>